we're learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this machine. In the history of special effects, the fog machine is a classic, used in music videos and horror movies and dream sequences. In school settings, they are also used in drama rooms, stage productions, and at dances and special events like haunted house exhibits. Fog machines do require some special handling to be safe, however. It is critical that before you even consider using a fog machine, that you check with the principal, the site caretaker, or site supervisor to determine the steps to take in making sure you will not be setting off smoke detectors in the school. Some detectors can detect the particles in even water-based fog and could trigger the fire alarms. It is also critical that you pre-plan your shoot to be able to communicate with the school community about when and where you will be using the fog machine so that it is not mistaken for smoke, causing panic and perhaps the fire alarm being pulled. You will need to coordinate with administration and caretakers to help communicate the use of the machine and to shut down smoke detectors in the zone the machine will be operated in. It is really an expensive fine and dangerous to have a false fire alarm. Make sure you know about the power and output expectations of the specific machine you have. Ask questions and look at the manual for your specific kind of machine. There are different levels of fog machines that are used in school environments. There are ones that are water-based and ice-based, some are regular ice-based, and some are dry ice-based. The dry ice has considerably more safety concerns than the simple fog juice units. If you are renting one from a rental company, don't be shy to ask for specifics of operation. For everyone's safety on set or at the event, you need to know how it works. Some are the simple and inexpensive ones you can buy for haunted houses or small functions, and others are sized and powered for larger venues and events. There are similar risks with the industrial format ones. However, you have the added risk of weight and usually higher amperage needed to run them. Whatever the unit, ensure you read the manual and review any applicable MSDS sheets and utilize any PPE that is recommended such as thick temperature resistant gloves for handling dry ice. When filling the reservoir in the machine, it is recommended that operators wear safety glasses in case of splashing. Other special effects machines may be referred to as smoke machines and there's even bubble machines that can be added to an event or studio shoot to make the effects seem unique. Many have timers, special settings, sensors, and other features that make them unique. The main thing is to read the manual. They are sensitive machines and can clog or fail with improper handling. A water-based fog machine works by using a mixture of pure glycol and water. The fluid juice is pumped into this machine, which has a temperature-controlled heat exchanger that then vaporizes the fluid into a thick fog and projects it out through a nozzle located at the front of the machine. Prior to plugging the smoke machine in, you need to check for any damage to the unit or to the electrical cord and extension cords. Check the unit to be sure it has not been dropped, is clogged, or otherwise has problem components. Check the electrical system for any loose connections, check the power cord and any extension cords for kinks, cuts, or frayed parts, and check that the plug is in good shape. Do not use any component that has issues that can cause overheating, electrical shock, or fire. Tell your teacher immediately about any problems you find. It is important to place the machine in a well-ventilated area that is well marked to prevent anyone from tripping over it. Tape down the electrical cords. Many fog machines also have a DMX cable controller that can set it for remote operation. It takes several minutes to heat up, and when it's ready, the machine fires off smoke in short bursts. Press the control pad. Fog will be released. Ensure a student operator is responsible for regularly checking on the operation of the machine while it is in use. If it runs out of fluid while operating, some models may have issues if it does not have an automatic sensor or shutoff. It can overheat the element or clog. Once you are finished, unplug the machine and let it cool down. The elements remain hot. Keep an eye on it. Don't let anyone get near until it has completely cooled. It will help to use a fan to clean out the room of fog and prevent accidental triggering of the smoke detectors once they are on again. Put the machine in its designated storage area wrapping up your cords neatly to prevent kinking. Wipe down the containers of fog juice and place the container in plastic bags to help minimize leakage issues. Wipe down any spills with cleaner to prevent any slipping hazards. Let's do our tool safe review. Assume the fog machine will trigger smoke alarms. Work with the administration and custodial staff. Make sure everyone in the school is aware of the event to prevent surprises. 
Check your machine and cords to ensure they are safe. Wipe all spills thoroughly to store the fog machine and the juice to minimize leakages. Don't touch the hot element. Review the MSDS for your specific machine's fluid. Post signage prior to usage for people sensitive to allergens or with breathing issues. Use any necessary precautions with dry ice units or higher voltage industrial units. Store the machine safely away after use. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And never forget to be tool safe.